We are back at 8 10 on this Friday morning. This morning on the Rawson Reports, an important new warning for all of us who text while walking, yeah. and we all do it. Yeah, new numbers show it could be a lot more dangerous than you may think. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is here, here with a revealing experiment. Sometimes you just you think it's kind of funny videos that you're watching, but it, it can be really dangerous. It can be very dangerous, and let's be honest, we're all, all sort of guilty of this, right? This is literally me every single day walking around the building, walking around New York City, head buried in my phone, even walking through intersections. Sometimes I don't even know how I got there. I'm emailing or texting so much. You know you do it too. Now some of those scary new numbers out, nearly 6,000 pedestrians were killed in the U.S. last year alone, and there's growing concern from police around the country about doing what I just said, walking across streets while texting. Turns out our our brains physically change when we text. This morning, guys, stand by. You're going to see my brain in real time while texting. It's a scary place up here. Plus, we are setting up a special experiment with surprising results. The videos are startling. Watch this man texting and walking right into a wall. This person falling face first into a pond while on his phone. This guy so distracted, he falls downstairs. And this person walking right into a fire truck. Think it can't happen to you? Think again. We're setting up an experiment, shutting down this park with the help of Miami-Dade police. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Right on the other side of this building, we have a group of viewers, including my parents. I want to walk away a little bit because they think we're here to test them to see how well they text while walking. Grammar, spelling, things like that. But here's what we're really here to do. We want to see how well they walk while texting. You have my number in your phone, obviously, yep. mom. Yep. <laughs> Let's hope. I want you to just text me what you did yesterday as you walk from here to there. Right away, it's not great. A little wobbly, though. A little wobbly. In fact, a study shows that 60% of texters can't walk in a straight line. Go for it. That's my dad all over the place. Five seconds in, he's already off course. There you go. Right onto the yep. Dad, <laughs> we were actually testing for is to see if you could walk a straight line. Did I? No, you literally like went diagonal inside the crosswalk. And then you like almost went over that rock, but you missed it just by a hair. Unbelievable. It's not just my family. Watch as this woman heads straight for the bushes, almost tripping over the curb. Oh my God. Person. He's not walking straight at all. Yep. Walk. After person. Stop. Veering off. What were you focused on? My phone. I'm texting. And most dangerous of all, the officer notices most aren't even looking up when crossing the street. In that crosswalk, in that intersection, that's where the danger is. Car comes and hits you. Bicyclists, anything. Come on, we're all guilty of it. Turns out it's all in the brain. A neuroscientist at Mount Sinai Hospital showing us. So this is our EEG headset. It's going to be monitoring brain waves in real time. How many electrodes are on this thing? We've got eight electrodes that give us full coverage of your entire head. Good luck. <laughs> First, I walk normally without texting. I can confirm you have a brain and it's working nicely. I'm walking at a regular pace on the treadmill. I'm not used to walking without my phone. This is weird. Get relaxing. The doctor locks in a reading. Now let's see what happens when I start texting. All right, Jeff, I'm going to hand you your phone. OK. What I want you to do is get in a text conversation with someone, just like you normally would. That shouldn't be hard. OK. <laughs> And, and yeah, That's just it? go for it. Go okay. back and forth with someone. I'll do my producer who's right over here. We text for several minutes as we normally would. The entire time, I continue to walk. All right, Jeff, hop off. Let me show you your brain. That's scary. What do we got? <laughs> over here on the left, this is your brain when you're just walking and not focusing on anything else. Now look at all this white space. This tells us that you're focusing on just the one thing. Now <laughs> we're going to move over here and look at texting and walking at the same time. It's that big of a difference. Absolutely. Your brain is completely overloaded. That's right. Look at the side by side. Remember that white space when I'm just walking means I'm totally concentrating. But when I'm texting and walking, there's so much red, my brain is having trouble doing both. It's an absolute myth that humans can multitask. The only thing that we can do is we can rapidly switch between two tasks, but that means that we're doing both of those tasks a little poorer than we would if we were just trying to do one of those tasks alone. So next time you're crossing the street, put down the phone. My brain on texting. Ugh. 
told you it was scary up here. By the way, the New York Times posted a blog about this a few years back. I found fascinating. They bring up a really interesting point about our blind spot. Let me bring the camera. Come on over here, John. I want you to take a look. This is what you see, basically, when you're texting. I'm, producing, I'm, I'm uh, texting my producer, Connor, again. You can see you only see the angle right in front of you. In fact, we have an overhead shot that I want to show you as well. This green area right here is what you can see, but the red area all over here, that's all your blind spot. And if you think about it, that could be everything from a car uh, to another person. It literally could be anything, yeah. guys, as I try to walk a straight line back. <laughs> here. Focus, focus. So this is something we're all guilty of and again those those videos are funny but it can be incredibly dangerous when you cross a street the multitasking thing we all think we kind of can yeah. do it like i feel like i'm aware of what's right. going on I'm, i've got it good enough but wow that was revealing the best I I is your doctor saying i can confirm you have a brain <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that good moment i still don't buy it it's a <laughs> fascinating piece i'll wow. see you guys yeah. in 30 rock today <laughs> yeah, I know. all right hello today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.